Very interesting. Moment of geek. Happy Thursday. All right. <clears throat> this is Call of Duty, a wildly popular first-person video game where you play as a soldier in a battlefield scenario. Sometimes you are a soldier in World War II. Sometimes you're on a more modern battlefield. If you want, you can play it in a mode where what you're battling are zombies. Zombies. And if you are in that Nazi zombie fighting mode of the game, the backstory for why you're fighting them in the first place has to do with a mysterious substance called Element 115, a substance supposedly harvested from meteorites that is used to create the zombie super Nazis who you're fighting. Element 115 is sort of an atomic MacGuffin. It's not really clear how it works and how it creates the zombies. I it turns out, and I know this is going to make me really unpopular, it turns out that although zombies are not real, element 115 kind of is. Everybody freak out. The periodic table of elements is supported, uh, is sorted, excuse me, numerically. Each element gets an atomic number based on the number of protons in its nucleus. Number one is hydrogen, one proton. Number two is helium, two protons, and so on. And those are the easy ones. Those are also the ones that are found on Earth. Hydrogen and helium and nearly all the elements up to uranium, number 92, they all already existed in nature. And once they were discovered in nature, they were given their proper place in the periodic table. But above number 92, those are things you don't find laying around. Those are things the Earth does not make itself. Above number 92, you got to make those guys in a lab. And the hallmark of these elements that you make in a lab is that they do not stick around. You make them by smashing together other atoms, and you do make a new element, but you only make it for an instant. The new atoms only last for milliseconds before they decay and they're gone. So if there were an element 115, it would go here in the periodic table, nestled between fluorovium and livermorium. Right now its place is being held by this by the symbol UUP, which stands for ununpentium, which is a fake Latin way of saying 115, ununpent, 115. And obviously that is just a placeholder name. You don't get to give it a real name until science says you can. First you have to make the thing and document how you made it. Then somebody else has to make it, confirming you really did it. Then the boffins at the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, and same thing for physics, have to certify that it's all on the up and up. And only then do you get to name your element whatever you want. Livermorium or fluorovium. Or... So it was about 10 years ago that scientists did the first step. They created a few atoms of un- unpentium and they published their work. This week, step two, confirmation. Physicists at a German particle accelerator said they did it too. They smashed some calcium ions, number 20, with americium, number 95, making 20 plus 95, carry the one, 115. Un- unpentium, it happened again. So now we are on to step three, waiting for certification. And if all goes well, the un- unpentium will lose its placeholder name and the scientist who invented it in the first place will get to give it a real name.